Hey, I'm Nelson with Chess Vibes. Welcome to episode eight in high probability opening traps. In this video, I'm gonna show you a trap you can play as white against the Sicilian defense that 26,000 players have fallen for. Let's take a look. Okay, so after e4, the move c5 is called the Sicilian defense, and this is the most common move that's played by black against e4. The main line goes knight f3, d6, d4, gaining control of the center. Black trades the pawn, and then black plays knight f6, attacking e4. White plays knight to c3. Now at this point, there's three common moves for black to play. a6 is the most popular, g6 is number two, and then the third most common is knight to c6. And that's actually the move we're gonna look at for this trap, knight to c6. And now we play the move bishop to c4. Bishop c4 is lining up on this f7 square. And if black doesn't prevent that or, or deal with that and plays the casual looking g6, he's in big trouble. And actually this g6 move is the second most common move played. If we check the database, we can see that it's been played over 26,000 times, but it's actually bad for black and he's in trouble already. Now, before I show you what we can do, it's important to remember that when black plays the Sicilian defense, ideally he wants to castle on the king side pretty early and get his king out of the center. Because if as white, we're able to open up the center and get rid of some of these center pawns and castle ourselves before black can castle on the king side, a lot of times his king can get into real danger in the center. That's important to remember as I show you this next line. So after black plays g6, this is the mistake. What we can do is capture on c6, we're trading the knights, and then we can play pawn to e5. Now this is a really strong move. If you remember what I just said, by opening up the center before he is able to castle, that's when black can get into a lot of trouble. And the point behind this trap is that even though our pawn is undefended, black cannot capture it or he loses immediately. So if he takes it, go ahead and take a minute and see if you can find the move for white. If you said bishop takes f7 check, you're correct. We sacrifice our bishop. The idea is that our queen is lined up on his queen and when he captures our bishop, which is the only move, simply take his queen for free. So because of this little trick, black does not have the ability to take our pawn. And that's why he ends up getting into such a bad position. Because he can't take the pawn, he has to deal with this threat on his knight. There are two moves that black usually tries, knight to d7 and knight to g4. So after knight to d7, what you wanna do is capture on d6, and after he recaptures, you're gonna castle kingside. Now, if you remember what I said earlier, black usually wants to castle to safety before the center is opened up and his king gets into trouble. But as you can see, we're ready to bring a rook over, lining up on his king, and he has not yet been able to castle. And that is why this is such a bad position for black. As an example, if he tries to play bishop g7 and castle now, we simply play rook to e1 check. Remember, you cannot castle if you are in check. So that's not an option for him. The only thing he can do is try to block with a knight or a bishop, but then we play f4, attacking it, and because it's pinned, we're simply gonna win a piece. We're just gonna take it next move with our pawn. The other thing he could try is king to f8, but then we can capture on d6 with our queen. He has to move over, and after rook e7, we're completely crushing black. This knight is pinned to the queen. He's got threats here that he can't really deal with. This rook is stuck in the corner, and white's completely crushing. So going back to this position, since black probably knows that rook e1 check is coming, he might try to play bishop e7 to block it ahead of time. But again, we remember we don't want to let him castle and get out of the center. So we play bishop to h6, covering the f8 square. Now for those of you who don't know, you are not allowed to castle through a check. So when you castle, you move your king over two spaces, and then the rook jumps to the other side. In this case, that space is covered by our bishop, so he cannot castle. And again, black has the same problem. His king is stuck in the center, and our next move is gonna be rook e1, lining up on it, and really black has no good, good moves. As an example, if he tries to play something like bishop b7 to develop a piece, we simply play rook e1, pinning this bishop. Now this pawn is under attack, so he might try to move it to d5, but we can simply play queen e2, ignoring that, let him take our bishop, follow it up with rook a to d1, and what you'll notice is that we have so much pressure, and black really can hardly even move any pieces. The bishop is pinned to the king. The queen is stuck guarding the bishop because we have two pieces lined up on it. The knight is pinned because of this rook. The king can't castle and can't move. This rook has nothing good to do. This rook has nothing good to do. The next move, we're gonna play knight to e4, followed by knight to d6, which is a smothered checkmate. If black doesn't prevent it, 
We could also even move bishop g5, lining up a third piece on this bishop on e7. Terrible position for black. So let's go back. All right, so I just showed you that when black moves his knight, if he goes to d7, you simply capture on d6, and you saw how great of a position that was for white. The other option that black can try is knight to g4. But against this move, you can simply play bishop to f4. And remember, black still cannot capture this pawn. If he does, you have the same trick that we looked at earlier. You take on f7, and when he captures you again, his queen is falling. If he tries something like bishop g7, a normal developing move, well then the d6 pawn is no longer defended by the bishop, so you can simply capture, captures, captures, and after the queen trade, first of all, you're up a pawn, you have six pawns, black only has five, but also, you're going to simply castle, and you're going to have both rooks lined up on black's king, and again, he's being prevented from castling because your bishop covers the f8 square. Well, hey, I hope you learned something in that episode. Be on the lookout for episode 9, which is coming out soon. But as always, thanks so much for watching, and take care.